Venus black folks and basically all they did is they marked Venus so we knew it was Venus and then basically we remember that there has been a whatever the atmosphere of Venus is exploded and we've seen that and you've seen that put in the movie now this here is the proof in the signature of the explosion and in its disappearing okay my conclusion that possibly that it was the rings of Saturn you know as far away so we get a little bit of since they finally mark Venus then we do know that that was Venus doing all that action in its atmosphere and this is an explosion did the comet hit Venus don't know yet there's odds that it could have it was in the general area we don't see the comet right now on some footage because we don't have movies uh, won't be able to see it because we don't have it the, the 14th is the newest they've got on a okay and I can just go down here real and it's the same thing I made a movie of last night okay the 14th 2329 hours there basically and I'll open that picture up because it's not going to matter which one I do it from I'm opening that picture up and I'm going to move over and look at and what we were seeing from that flare was mercury on the lower and and I'll take you to that shot in a second and as you can see we'll basically go down a little bit here and you'll see that the idea that this is still out here and fading and it moves slow it doesn't have the energy of the sun the speed and of a CME off of the explosion of a huge sun a huge hydrogen yes bomb the sun nuclear hydrogen bomb okay because it's electrical okay and then Venus doesn't have energy it's just a planet okay so this basically is going to keep disappearing okay and basically it's from the explosions that we have seen and then it'll add to it every time it blows up go watch the video this is that I put up last night in the last four or five videos I showed you that I don't want to get into particulars I don't even remember the names I don't I make the names real fast when I put the videos up what we're gonna do is we're gonna blow in on mercury here real fast okay and you're gonna see the flares that it's putting off and I've showed you also the magnetical flare of the, our luminosity off of earth it's all electrical folks this is all electrical stuff in space okay the physicists are on their knees they're on their ears they're on the top of their heads they're spinning around they're going like a mad evil person going like oh it can't be it can't be. it's all electrical okay it's all electrical it's ma all magnetical now the most of them know it I've always kind of known it what you're seeing when we see the mercury flaring mercury is just like the moon okay but it's basically very close to the sun so it's had all the, it's just got a little bit of sweat when they say water and they say it's on the north side of mercury it's on the side whatever side the moisture in its little atmosphere and around it when you sweat uh, you can sweat moisture out of any object on the face of the earth or anywhere in the world or in a vacuum tube or anywhere in space so the moisture that's on mercury same size as the moon is going to be facing away from the sun okay and then it ends up looking like a water because all the moisture there's always going to be moisture in something okay and mercury doesn't get hot enough to burn but it gets hot enough to vent that moisture off and who knows how hot it is maybe it is going to start burning because we're going to say, show you the fusion that's going on with mercury and then in its magnetics and getting too close to the sun because basically if you go watch the video that I did on the flare last night to the lower right and that's what you have to realize here is that mercury this is the sun over here don't get this differentiated with how I was doing the movie this is the sun over on the right flaring okay that's the Sun CME action okay and then they've got the back they can always play with the color okay NASA can play with the color they're doing it so they can see the signature of the explosions off of Venus that you've been seeing in the movies okay and I'm gonna take you to Mercury on B okay on Sechi B okay let's go over and take a look at Mercury on Sechi B okay there's Venus they're shooting across from behind okay go get your maps on that on I'm not going to show you the maps right now everybody should know by now if they've been watching the videos where Mercury and Venus are pretty much sitting now in the future they're going to start being in on our shots because they're moving towards to the they moving clock counterclockwise okay they don't move clockwise they move counterclockwise just like Earth does around the Sun so this is Venus okay that's Venus there it's the idea that the camera's closer on ahead when you're looking at it. we're at B right now okay this is mercury down here ie I can go back real fast you see mercury's low Venus is high okay they finally 
we got him to mark Venus finally, okay? All that explosion activity and everything like that, the comet came above Venus and Mercury. Did it hit Venus? We still don't know yet. We're going to be looking for the comet. It hit something, quite possibly. Maybe it did hit Venus. We're not going to know for a while until NASA or something announces that. Or, because we're when we get more footage, we're going to be able to find the damn thing. Because it's big and it's bright. So we'll be end up seeing it some more again. That's why we're not getting any movies from Sechi right now. That's why Sechi's movies are shut down. Okay? So we're going to be waiting for either NASA to say it ran into Venus or it ran into something but by Venus. Or Saturn was in line with Venus. It could have possibly. And then all the electrical connections, you see. So they're fighting the absolute that we have electrical, magnetical. See, they want you to always figure that it's just the weight of something that keeps you attached to Earth's surface. It's electrical. And when you lose the electrical charge that's in your body, everyone has a little, a little nano uh, micro in them. That keeps you magneted to the ground. Atmosphere, yes, our atmosphere, and we have gravity here on Earth better than any other planet. Okay? Now, pop back to Mercury real fast. It's all electrical magnification. I showed you the magneticals of Earth yesterday on its on our that is at our equator. Okay, we get heat off our equator just like Mercury gets heat off its equator there. And I've already proved in videos showing you that Mercury rotates so much or something like that every uh, or basically this is happening. Okay, that there flash is happening every what four or eight hours because we caught it in the footage when we seen the flap flap. Okay, going through, what was it, something like four to eight hours, we were looking a long ways away at Mercury, and it was doing it. Okay, now the one cool thing is if we ever see uh, Venus doing that, see Venus rotates counter, uh, clockwise, excuse me, Venus, this is Venus, okay, let's go back to Venus again real fast here. Venus rotates clockwise, okay, Venus is the only planet that cl rotates clockwise. So, as it's doing that, when it gets hit, and when it's doing its CME, reactive atmosphere flare to a CME, it's rotating clockwise, just like this, okay? All the other planets, Mercury and everything, flap this way, okay? Now, remember, I also had the footage showing you that, uh, the black and white showing you that uh, actual factual, that it looked like we had the comet in that shot, okay, because of the big tail. Now, this is not going to put off a shadow, in space, but that tail of that uh, comet will. So remember that, and let me show you some more pictures of the comet last night. So I basically got you guys set, you should be able to understand right now, that that is Venus on B, when we're at stereo B, okay? When we're at behind, H1 or H2B, and then basically this is Mercury doing this action down here, because it's the next closest thing to the sun, okay? It's just the idea that it, they zoom in, in real good from B, and you can see the magnetical flare action because it's going to go towards the sun. It's magnetical, okay? So Mercury, there's forces in space. Even though you're in a vacuum tube and everything like that, something is somewhat disattaching the electrical magnetical of the sun, which is here, to the Mercury and vice versa all of our planets right now. So the sun's magnetical is really saying, come on, dang it, come with, follow this magnet. I'm the magnet, not, that's right, we have electrical force off to, away from the sun that's huge, okay, in the supergiants, and all the weather comes from the supergiants. Let me show you a, a video on that real fast. I got back in the Navy, and basically what you're going to end up seeing here is when you're looking at it, the sun's here, okay, and all this stuff is this whole circle, and I don't need to show it all to you right here, I need to keep focused, but basically we're going to be looking at tau, and over here, Gemini 8 and 9 and so forth like that, when you got the sun here, you basically, it doesn't even matter. You just will, either this could be Gemini 9 and 8, or this could be Gemini 9 and 8, right there. Gemini 8 and 9, or Gemini 5, see? So you start orientating yourself going across. Now, more than likely, this is M35 right here, this here. When I showed you how a galaxy looks from a long ways away, it just all of a sudden blinks in on the movies. Yep, see? That's that galaxy M35 right there, mass thir M35, okay, massive galaxy M35 out there, right there, more than likely. So, it's pretty concise to say that this is Gemini 8 and 9 right here, and this is live NASA, the freshest from up there in the sky. So, now see what's what's blocked? 
So now I'm going to pull that back up on my map. See, the best thing to do is when you started this, I kept on playing stupid, 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 that I wasn't looking at the maps and being able to see where stuff was at. Get certain people to make certain remarks or anything like that, and then basically, uh, okay, everything amounts to the idea that you can trust these maps and everything like that, and they're wrong. You even get somebody that, that basically plays a pawn on the Internet and says that this is that, and basically I know that that there was an object that I kept on. Remember, you can just remember this. Remember I kept on telling you, I don't think so. I, you know, I think he's wrong, and yes, he was wrong. DRK was wrong about what the object was and so forth and so on, okay? And I'm just keeping that underneath. That's underneath my hat. I got my poker cards. I got my poker chips, okay? So then you go over work your way off of uh, Mass 35, and you work yourself along the picture, and you work yourself to the right of the sun and everything like that, and you end up basically, it ends up being Taos H and then you gotta work it gets pretty complicated on trying to work it off of the but what when they cut the edge of the picture off a little bit when they're basically doing that it actually helps you out because you can do the same thing for positioning on here and find your objects on the map in your shots on basically here you see what I'm saying you get yourself lined up with your edge and you get your biggest star and then you can work and then you can find that stuff out keep it underneath your hat and then you can keep an eye on this stuff right there okay okay remember this is the same shot okay it's just the idea that this is a movie compressed, and basically you'll have your dates and times on the outside, basically, when we go back to the deal. You could play it there where the sheep get to watch everything. The sheep, the ants, the, the need to know people. Okay, and then the arm is in the way. And yes, it's the meteor showers and everything like that all over space right now from different directions. But no matter what, I'm going to basically, this basically, I'll keep it playing. And we're getting all that from when I show you the, the uh, green shots from Germany on the Lasco. It's, we get all that solar weather and everything from this direction. The super giants are up this way. And see how everybody was always pissed off. Like, yeah, that's not the right positions on Hertzberg. Yes, because the sun's the farthest out. We have the coolest and this, one of the smallest suns of the super giants. That's our sun here on Earth. Keeps us cool. Earth's hiding out in a little, yes, rabbit hole, like I always say. So we get all that solar weather from the right hand side up there. You see, you know, we have 500 mile an hour winds to, yesterday peaking and dropping back down to the low. Low, lower 400s. Actually, still midway. And I'll give you a map of that. Really. So all that stuff we're seeing on green is all that energy that's coming from the super giants. That's coming. You, you got it. And on the sheeple, they block it with putting the arm up here like this, so you don't notice all that energy and all this material coming in from this direction, because that's where the weather comes from. In space weather comes from the super giants' main sequence, and the sun's way on the outside point of it. Okay, we are. Okay. So basically, uh, Earth is over here. Anywhere in here you can say Earth is at, okay? It's that simple, okay? This is A ahead, okay? And it's the biggest blowout shot that A ahead has, okay? Massive amounts and distance in space. Okay? And that's A ahead. But we're looking at that footage off A ahead there, okay? Now, when I look at the Navy shots that I just came back from the map and stuff like that, see, we don't get the solar arm, and then I can zoom in on the black and whites and find all kinds of stuff, you see? So, now NGC 2129 is very close to the sun, so lower left, you can look in, because this is the plot. So here, or closer in, you see, and then I got a closer in shot. See, then pretty much I find HD 37784, because it's going to be directly in line with HD 370, 329, you see, here. And then you can work your way over, and you know that basically below here is Taos, one of the Taos, Tau 125, highly probable, and then you work your way over here and lower, and they've got basically something to do with HD 38524 is blocked out, you see, because it's going to be the big, biggest, brightest thing you see below the straight line, if you draw a straight line through the sun, even if I'm wrong and it's this, is is HD 37784. It's going to be the brightest next big thing directly above that's going to be more than likely. It's got to be one. Even if I'm wrong, it's, it should be this one, but it could be any of these. But you get, okay, you get a direct line there, and then you can see that basically they're blocking something left of HD 37329, and anything here could be HD 385, but it basically should be a long ways away from the sun. It's probably what's getting blocked out. HD 38524. And this is more than likely Tau 132A. Okay? So you can find stuff very easily. The key thing, it's uncrowded right now, so you should be pretty much that. Should be something. 
HG 38524. That's it right there. There's the sun. Tiny energy. The green movies, all the massive energies behind the sun. Supergiants.